So the first quote we're going to go into by Rumi, uh, he says, Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world, and today I am wise, so I'm going to change myself. And this quote in itself is a very, very deep, very interesting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome back to the Mountain Path Podcast I want to start off by glorifying and praising Allah Almighty And sending my peace and blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The last and final messenger Today I want to talk uh, about two quotes that I've come across online By the famous Jalaluddin Rumi We all know who Rumi was, I'm pretty sure And if you don't know, just google it <laughs> Rumi was a very famous poet uh, 13th century poet I'm pretty sure um, he was a giant in poetry probably the most famous poet in world history never mind Islamic history uh, he's got an absolute plethora of amazing quotes and stories and poetry of course um, not only that he was a, a master in so much Islamic sciences um, and he's a very very interesting character a very interesting character indeed someone who i really want to get into in this podcast uh, so i just thought i'll start off by you know introducing some of his quotes so the first quote we're going to go into by rumi uh, he says yesterday i was clever so i wanted to change the world and today i am wise so i'm going to change myself and this quote in itself is a very very deep very interesting very simple to understand as well because obviously some poetry goes over your head well definitely mine there's some things he says and not only, not only Rumi but poetry in general can go over your head and it just sounds very simple but you can't really calculate what it means but this is very simple yesterday I was clever so I wanted to change the world and today I'm wise so I'm changing myself but the reason why I picked out this quote is because it's so relevant to the times I mean some people uh, including myself, we want to change so much. We look around, we look, we see the news. We have such a crisis moment and a state of panic that we want to change so much, and we have so many ideas to do things and whatnot. But uh, we need to start off by changing ourselves. And that is the biggest change you can make to humanity, because you change yourself, it will have a knock-on effect on those people around you who will consume your character. You better your character, you improve your character. And that will make other people absorb that and better their character and then the things will go on and then that will actually in turn change the whole world and i know it sounds cliche but really and truly if you better yourself you can change the world and these kind of things the old hamza would not even believe that i just think yeah it's one of them ones you know people always say change yourself and then the whole world can change or oh, one vote will change the whole thing but it's true man i mean sometimes people are you know People will say, oh, my vote won't count. Like, what, what difference will it make if I put a vote in? I'm talking about, like, you know, leadership votes or whatever. But every little helps, as Tesco likes to say. Like I was going on about the spiritual diseases that we all carry. If you, if you work to chip away and remove these spiritual diseases, then eventually your character will absorb and be consumed by those who you speak to and talk to and interact with on a daily basis. And then they will pick up that character and then they will in turn maybe show signs of good character to other people and then before you know it, you've got a snowball effect people are getting better and better character is being improved in society and community so start off with yourself reflect upon your family and then before you know it you're touching communities and then before you know it worlds can change and it sounds cliche it really does but you can change the world by being a good person and I swear to God, I fully believe that. You don't have to believe me because this is my opinion. But I fully believe that if you improve your character, you can change the world. Ask me how. How you say. Because your character is everything. You're a Muslim. If you're a Muslim especially, good character is the heart of being a good Muslim. It is the pivotal foundation of being a good Muslim. If you ain't got a good character, then you can't be a good muslim and that goes for everyone including myself you just, you just can't be you have to be a person of great character let's be great people again 
people in society are now accepting to be mediocre to wake up go to work come home get tired go to sleep wake up do it again non-stop non-stop where is the improvement in our character where is the time to sit down and actually reflect look in the mirror look in the cloud look at the clouds look at the trees just look at the whole world around you and reflect take a deep breath and think we are here for more than what they tell us don't let these countries and don't let these system and these people and leaders and boss tell you that you're here to work the job go home feed your kids and family and that's it recycle it no you're not and don't get me wrong doing all of that providing for your family and that kind of stuff is pivotal and it's very important and it is essential for men especially for us for us guys we have to provide and we have to put food on the table that's just what men do simple as that yeah but don't try and tell me that that is what i was born to do yeah. you were born to be a great person you was born to spread this deen by virtue of your good character so as rumi says don't think about changing the world change yourself man stop being jealous stop being angry calm down people are so angry these days man like if, if you go onto the road and this is me myself talking about myself here i'm driving something will happen on the road a guy will take the wrong turn before you know it road rage kicks in and we're just going overboard getting all angry like it's it's not a big deal man it's just not a big deal learn to relax the biggest enemy of a person is himself his ego is his biggest enemy your ego stops you from doing so much great things your ego will tell you not to ap apologize first because you know that shows signs of weakness yeah how many times have you been in a conflict with someone and then you thought you know what let me bite the bullet let me just forget this let me drop this this is not important there's people out there dying there's people out there starving and we're fighting over some stupid situation let me apologize first and you know make amends rekindle ties of kinship how many times who does that man how many people can do that put your hands up reflect upon yourself and ask actually ask yourself are you able to renew ties of kinship or are you able to renew friendships are you able to apologize are you able to do so many things first that we're not trained to do so because we have so much ego this day and age we just do so this is a, improving your character it just takes you know what just buy a mirror buy a mirror hold it up and look at yourself and ask yourself are you a good person are you of good character do you have so many things about you which need to change and like Rumi said yesterday he was clever so he wanted to change the world today he is wise so he's changing himself even the words wise and clever the difference in the words is quite something for me as well it's quite important in this piece of poetry if you like the word clever kind of connotates to being a bit cunning as well I mean not every person who's clever is wise I think being wise is a step ahead of being clever because being wise you can't be too you, someone someone can pretend or try and be too clever but people who try and be too wise are instantly cut out from being wise themselves if that makes sense because anyone who tries to be too wise is not wise in the first place because a man who is wise will know his limits he will know when he when his level stops the second quote before i finish this video off because this is gonna be a short video uh, i want to do a little series on little dif different quotes and ideas and thoughts and philosophies and whatever all these words man just because i'm bored uh, the second one he said um, rumi says again rumi he says what you are seeking is also seeking you this is a fantastic quote powerful quote what you are seeking is also seeking you so if you're seeking knowledge the knowledge is waiting for you to come through them doors to seek the knowledge if you're seeking wanting to go out to the clubs and drink and party and waste your life then that's waiting for you as well so be who you want to be but know that the destination is also waiting for you if you're a wretched person if you're heedless if you're crazy if you don't care about the world if you have no purpose and you want to party your life away and throw up throw away your life and just waste your time then that's the destination you'll be at and it's seeking you just as you're seeking that it's seeking you as well and it loves you it looks after you it makes you feel like you're the king of the world these clubs these parties you know this, this time wasting this it's all seeking they're waiting for you and that's because and it's a reflection of who you are 
seriously you know, where you end up in life your destination where you are at this current moment is who you are remember that so every moment in your life every week every couple of days ask yourself what have i done this week where have i been uh, what am i what am i thought process what am i thinking that's who i am really sit there and think this is who i am can i be a better person can i improve this can i can i go somewhere else instead and when you start looking at that and start improving yourself you'll end up in places you can never imagine physically and also mentally mentally you will end up in such a better mindset a more positive mindset a mindset which is full of purpose and hope and faith and then physically you will be sat in gatherings or sat on your own even somewhere in such blessed places and i've seen this in my own life alhamdulillah i've seen this myself this is first hand experience i'm now beginning to sit in gatherings which uh, i never expected to be in which are of such beautiful people such beautiful conversations such conversations full of productivity and the same person I, i used to be sat in gatherings which were full of nonsense really nonsense not to say um i've been crazy places but i've been in places which bring no value to my life absolute no value time wasting and no purpose and that was seeking me because that's who i was so so the quote from rumi was what you are seeking is seeking you so seek that knowledge or seek something good of, of benefit and it will come to you as well inshallah allah will make things easy for you inshallah you want to learn his deen he will make it easy for you he will make bring that means closer and closer if you want to seek the bad stuff in life the evil stuff then it will be there available right now literally right now i can get up and go and find that stuff anyway this the whole world is full of bad stuff man evil stuff bad stuff whatever you want to call it but the good stuff is there ready to be found you just got to find it you got to be a good person improve your character inshallah so that's it for today that was a quick one uh, two beautiful quotes by rumi jalaluddin rumi inshallah we'll talk about him more maybe get into his biography about who he was and his story so thank you guys for watching inshallah you guys can like subscribe and enjoy this journey with me uh, inshallah next episode hopefully well i don't know if anyone's watching by now cuz it's been quite some time hopefully next episode i'm finally going to get a guest on inshallah so thank you for watching see you next time on the mountain path podcast